Bear Grylls is trained in extreme survival techniques. He and his crew receive support in potentially life-threatening situations, as required by health and safety regulations. Professional advice should be sought before entering any dangerous situation. Well, here I am in a Ralph Fallon, one of the most hostile environments in the world ever. Uh, I've been to the Sahara, I've been to the Himalayas, but they don't really compare to this place. This, uh, this twig here will be perfect to help me make my uh, survival shelter. And uh, coincidentally, the inner parts of this twig will provide me with sustenance for about seven weeks. Mmm, tastes like an ass. So I've collected my materials. Here we've got some ideal uh, posts for the part of my shelter. And of course, the waterproofing, plastic and paper. Well known for its water retarding properties. At the top here I've got some camouflage, make sure I don't get attacked by bears. And then uh, here I've got some strengthening struts to add uh, structural stability uh, for the uh, polar winter, which may come later. And uh, I managed to fashion the entire tent from those three twigs. Plastic bag, magazine. Learn that in the SAS. Fallon's got loads of uh, traps and secret passageways where animals might be lurking and make good fodder. Let's go. Just making my way here through, uh, through the undergrowth. Oh, someone's got my leg! Whoosh, people's elbow, fine. Let's keep going. Uh, this, as we make our way through the undergrowth here, uh, you can see it's the, this is probably the crocodile's lair. If you just have a look in there, you can see where he may have lived. Okay, we've definitely got some tracks down here. If you look carefully, yeah, yeah, from the scent and the taste, oh, it tastes like, oh, definitely, <laughs> definitely crocodile tracks. That little bleed is gonna be around here somewhere. Let me just uh, get into his mindset. This is how he travels. Obviously, he doesn't have a large rear legs like myself. It's more of a tail situation. Still tastes not so great. Okay, yeah, he's definitely, look here. Here we've got a little bit of a, uh, Crocodile uh, spawn. We just try a bit of that. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Yeah, that tastes pretty bad, but that'll sustain me uh, in the polar winter. So uh, I reckon the crocodile must be around here somewhere, probably further on. Just gonna keep looking. <laughs> right, here I am by the pond. I'm sure that crocodile's around here somewhere. Definitely found the crocodile this time, he's mine. It's right down there. <laughs> yeah! Yeah! Oh! Ah! 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 It's really good for me, but I luckily I've got a special people's elbow. Oh, he didn't like that one, he didn't like He didn't like it much. Oh, right, I'm just gonna... Oh. Well, this crocodile is no match for the SAS's people's elbow special maneuver, special maneuver. Now I'm gonna rip the little bleeder open and see what his guts taste like. Sustain me in the polar winter. Yeah! Mm, now here's a bit of spleen and liver. Mm, oh, oh, so good, that'll be great. Oh, oh no! What's this? A Mars bar? And... <laughs> A moustache? Did this crocodile eat Mr. Rose? <laughs> After killing the croc, I need to rehydrate. These, these few drops here will sustain me for seven, seven weeks of the polar winter. 
Mm, it's great. Unfortunately, my bladder is uh, distended from my uh, ruckus with the crocodile. I'm going to have to relieve myself. But that in itself will provide useful drinking water. Oh, great. Yeah. <laughs> Look at that. Uh, I never quite get used to the taste. On Bear Grylls, I survived Ralph Fallon. No crocodiles were harmed during filming.